Do you sense it, Olga? What's that, Julie? Oh, love! It's the first of February, and love is in the air. Love is in the air. I love that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. Welcome to the Balancing Act on this lovely morning. <laughs> so glad you're with us. Our show theme today is You're Engaged. Now what? Well, congratulations first, but we know there's so much to do. And we'll help from choosing your wedding announcements to picking that perfect gift to that perfect dress and so much more. And this wonderful engagement. Engagement day starts <laughs> right now. <laughs> Stay with us. Okay, take a look at this. This is not a concert line, but a line to get into a bridal show. You're kidding. What's the attraction? Of course, all things wedding, all in one place. Wow, what more can a bride to be asked for? Well, here's Rachel Lee. There are over 50 exhibitors in the ballroom today. And a ton of eager brides-to-be, waiting patiently to get into the Great Bridal Expo in Weston, Florida. Minnie came with a supporting cast. You brought your parents. I did. I brought my parents. <laughs> I'm very close with my mom. I bring her. I brought her to everything so far. Um, all the venues I've looked at, I brought her and my dad. My dad is kind of just tagging along because we made him. This is my daughter-in-law. That's impressive. Yeah. We're like best friends. That's how. Yes. Our, that's how we. <laughs> the thing about this ring is that's her diamond. It goes from her, and she wanted to give it to me so. Yeah, we made it. It was custom made. Aw, that's so sweet. So how did she get you to come? Uh, he actually told me he wanted to go. Yes. Hey, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> you got that one right, Sean. Getting married on the cruise ship. Actually yes. in Key West, but we're all going on a cruise for the weekend. Yes, so she's on a cruise. So this sounds like this is your wing woman. Yes, she is. Yes. Oh yes, she deals I with am. The stress. <laughs> yes, I'm her stress wall. Yes, my fiance Five, six stays times out of it. Day. He's smart. <laughs> he leaves everything to me and her. <laughs> Way to go, husband to be. Lots of smart guys in here, and of course, lots of business owners as well, including those who bake. Who doesn't love a cool wedding cake? Well, this birch cake here is one of the trends that's very popular right now, as well um, as the chandelier cake. I did a travel cake once for a couple that, that was traveling, and, and so we did uh, three sets of luggage, and we had all of the travel stickers from all the different places that they've been, and that was very special for them. And another big wedding consideration? Flowers, especially the ones for your bouquet. We preserve uh, your wedding flowers so you can enjoy them for a lifetime. And then we frame them in this beautiful displays. Now that's unusual. I actually saved my bouquet the old fashioned way, hung them upside down, dried them out. I'm good. Not bad for three years, right? Now on to the big question. How much can these ladies expect to shell out for their big day? The national average is about $31,000 for a wedding of about 150 people. But of course, that course can vary greatly. Honeymoon not included. One of the decisions, if not the biggest decision for the bride-to-be is what to wear. So many choices, but we have you covered with a look at the latest designs. That's coming up. Thanks a lot, Rachel, and she'll have more later in the show. And coming up later, sharing your engagement news in your own special way. Stay with us. It may or may not have happened on bended knee, and it doesn't matter. He proposed, and you said yes. Congratulations, and so it begins. You're engaged, now what? Start spreading the news, I remember. And that can happen in so many ways, which is why we brought in a wedding expert, Diana Lingholm of Carlson Craft. Good morning. Good morning. I gotta tell you, for me, it was like a long time ago, but I still remembered he got on bended knee right there and asked me in the Everglades wow. to marry him. And here I am trying to call people, and I had 
had no signal. <laughs> Horrible. But I remember that day, do you? Absolutely, yeah, I was on the phone in about two seconds. And nowadays people go on Instagram and they update their status on Facebook instantly. So when is it a good time to tell everybody and start saving that date? Because then you start thinking of the date and you gotta spread the news. Absolutely, uh, six to nine months is pretty typical for sending out your save the dates. And you've got some great examples of some oh, there. Oh yes, absolutely. This one here we've got um, black on black with oh, some like silver that. ink, very chic, a little more modern. But say you had a fantastic engagement shoot with your honey, right? How perfect would it be oh. to put that on your save the date? And then you can incorporate it into your invitation later too. That is That's beautiful. Nice. Now let's talk about the big day, okay? Mm -hmm. So now you're getting ready for the big day. It's, it's nerve wracking. You've got so much to do. When do you send out those invitations? What's a good time? Two months. Two months. Six weeks at the latest. Wow. But give yourself time. If you do two months or a little bit sooner even, then your RSVPs can come back sooner, which means you get a head count sooner for caterers. And people still RSVP? Because mm -hmm. I remember I had to call mm -hmm. a lot of people. And I had that, you know, confianza, as we say in Spanish. I had that relationship. Mm -hmm. Are you coming or not? Yeah. But do people <laughs> RSVP? Are phone calls okay? Oh, absolutely. And most people do it via website nowadays, but you can still do RSVP cards and it's great for those not so tech savvy family members. And RSVPs, I would call a couple days after the date just in case they dropped it in the mail you know, the day of that it was due. Now thinking of the wedding, I remember when I was, you know, choosing my invitations, honestly, I mean, mine was about 15 years ago. I didn't have a lot of choices. It was just one, two, three, and I just went this. We've come a long way. I oh mean, my look goodness. at this. Some Huge. of these are just divine. I know. There's this one. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Actual velvet. <sighs> So say you're getting married in the winter and you're having a very luxurious, maybe you have a first stole or something like that. How this perfect would that ooh be? La la. And it brings the personality into it of the couple and what the event is actually gonna be like. You could tell this is gonna be like fine mm -hmm. dining, beautiful. <laughs> All right, leather? Leather, faux leather. This <laughs> one's burnished. You could foil stamp on it. Great for maybe a more rustic wedding or if you're rustic but you're not the leather type, you could go with real wood. Oh wow, this is real. Oh right? wow, this is so sweet. Mm -hmm. and What's trending today? Today, laser cut is huge. We're laser seeing couples cut. search for that nonstop. And you can do that in a variety of different ways. This one here actually gives you that um, kind of lace vintage feel. Um, or you could actually laser cut your names or your date out of it too for a little bit more modern twist. Very elegant. Mm -hmm. What I like about this, and again, we've come a long way, is everybody can get something based upon who they are. You know, whether if you're a diva, if you like loud, if you're more soft-spoken. Mm -hmm. I'm more the loud diva. I would have gotten something <laughs> See, like that black yours. and pink thing. Yeah, right? This is me. <laughs> and that one's totally customized. So this monogram here was custom made for that couple. And that's a huge trend too. 75% of couples are getting something personalized for their wedding. Signature cocktails. You can use that monogram on favor tags later on. And you hear, it's just an invitation, but for, for so many brides, and come on, even for the groom and for the family, it's a keepsake. Yes, absolutely, you frame that one. I mean, that's beautiful. So what's the wedding checklist? Wedding checklist, you can get that on blog.carlsoncraft.com and it'll keep you on track. Um, also, we have wedding inspiration boards on there, real weddings, things that you can pin, get inspired. Um, there's all sorts of things you can shop on our website carlsoncraft.com and find a retailer there too. I wish I would have known. You would have made it a lot easy for me because let me tell you, that checklist is huge and you forget a lot of things. Oh my goodness. You guys make it really easy. We try, we try. <laughs> the website again for our viewers. If anybody out there is getting married, listen. carlsoncraft.com. carlsoncraft.com. Thank you so much. One Thank day you. when my little girls decide to get married, which is hopefully way, way down the road, <laughs> I will definitely look into Carlson Craft. I appreciate Wonderful. it. Thank, Thank you. you. And for more information on setting the tone of your wedding with personalized invitations, if you're a diva, this is the way to go. Visit carlsoncraft.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. Okay, love those ideas. Thanks so much, Olga. And coming up, unique and personalized ideas for the bride, groom, and so much more. Stay with us. I feel like a bride again here at Boca Raton Bridal and Consultants. Coming up, gorgeous gowns. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, you're engaged, now what? Gifts are certainly a part of that equation, and Olga has this great story. Weddings, of course, involve gifts on so many levels for the bride and groom, the wedding party, in-laws. It's nice to make it personal and memorable. Our guest this morning, a wedding specialist, Brittany Kosmak. She's got some great suggestions. She's with Things Remembered. Good morning. Good morning, I'm really excited to be here. I am too. 
big day a wedding. I remember mine and I believe I heard somebody just got married. Yes, Dylan and I got married on September 19th. It was everything I ever imagined. It was a beautiful day. And let's talk about weddings because again, big day for even the guests when they come, what do I get her? Tell me about etiquette. What is, what is the rule, what is not rules today in terms of giving? Right, nowadays there really aren't rules, which is what makes it so great. You just need to make it personal and specific to the recipient and have fun with it. And what's trending today when it comes to wedding parties and bridal parties? Well, whether your wedding theme is traditional, modern, or DIY, Things Remembered is the place for you. You can find gifts that fit into any of those themes starting with your wedding day. I'm really excited today to have with us our brand new Love Handwritten collection. That's beautiful. So it's a flute with matching server set. So it's a wonderful thing to have on your table at the wedding and then break out every every year on your anniversary. Lovely memory. And this, I've got my eye on this, this one. This is one of our best wedding gifts. This is our wishing box. Uh, what people use this for is as a guest book or they have it out on the table, the gift table for the guests at the wedding to leave advice for the bride and the groom. But and it's, a, it's a wonderful, unique gift. It is because little hearts in there, best wishes, best always, we love you. That's a keeper. Yeah, yes, I love that one. Yeah, we move over here to our groomsmen gifts. We can't forget about our men. One of our top gifts here is our decanter with our rocks glass. Simply put their initials on it, their last name, or a message, and it just makes a great keepsake. We also have jewelry for the day of or accessories that they'll use every day after. Over here are our bridesmaids gift. Don't forget about your ladies. It's great to give them something colorful and, and, and useful. So we have and personalized robe, tote bag, cosmetic bag, or a compact case. And it says, hello, gorgeous. You know, I would need that every morning before <laughs> I put makeup on. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, this is so beautiful. Cute, yeah. And for our viewers out there who'd like more information on Things Remembered, where do they go, Brittany? Thingsremembered.com. Thingsremembered.com. Thank you. Well, let me see the wedding ring. Thank I have you. to see. <gasps> gorgeous. Thank well, you. good luck Thank to you. you. God bless you. And many, Thank many you. more years to, uh, to celebrate those anniversaries. Thank you. Thank you. And for more information on finding the perfect wedding gift, Mm -hmm. Hello, gorgeous. Visit thingsremembered.com or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. I love this. Olga, you're so gorgeous. I just love monogram gifts. Thanks for that story. And coming up, more from the bridal show and a peek at what's hot with wedding dresses. Stay with us. And Rachel, this is an A-line and it actually has multiple layers to create this alabaster color, which is just beautiful. We return now to the bridal show. And our Rachel Lee, who has her pulse on some very exquisite formal wear. Meet Ted and Carol Berry, married for 27 years, in business together for 30 years, the men's formal wear business. The most unusual request was for the Dumb and Dumber look, the orange tuxedo with the ruffles and the blue tuxedo with the ruffles. From the movie, Dumb and Dumber. Any marital advice? Yes, two words, yes dear. I concur and let her be the boss. Excellent advice, hmm, I hope my husband sees this. I wonder how many of these women actually choose their own ring. Gorgeous. Naturally, choosing the right hairdo for your wedding day is a must do. I think I'm gonna do an updo for the wedding yeah. so I can have my back showing. Do you have a dress yet? Uh, not yet, but I do have it sketched out in my head. So it's almost there and now I just have to find it. And to say she has lots from which to choose is an understatement. I checked out the latest in bridal gowns at Boca Raton Bridal in Boca Raton, Florida. Here comes the bride, all dressed in white, or at least something close to it. There is a soft blush that's being seen and also a baby, baby blue for the something blue. Wedding dresses are all over the place right now. One of the trends for the younger brides is the ball gowns. They love to wear the big ball gowns. So this is an example of a ball gown with a very full skirt and a fitted bodice. This is a sweetheart neckline. Here is an example of a ball gown. Remember we talked about color? Mm -hmm. So I think this is for the girl who can't decide if she wants color because this is ombre. As you can see, it starts out white and it goes down to a beautiful blush. This is another ball gown which is very beautiful and soft and feminine with the case of the bling. And Rachel, this is an A-line, 
and it actually has multiple layers to create this alabaster color, which is just beautiful. Soft, feminine, with nice bling on it, beautiful back. Remember beautiful back, I love back beautiful before. backs. <laughs> the older brides are opting for a more slim silhouette, maybe with some lace and bling, maybe even sheer sleeves, which look beautiful. Some sleeves are being seen in wedding dresses, and these are beautiful sheer sleeves. This dress is absolutely gorgeous. Again, it has a little bit of color, but not really. Another trend is two pieces in wedding dresses, so a bride can wear a, a top and a full skirt, which looks beautiful. Now, you want to talk about a beautiful oh. back and color. This one has it all going on. This is beautiful. Turn this around. I love the back, because like we said, you see so much of the train. back of the dress. That's beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous. And it has the other, the like the it pink, has the like blush. a blush color yes. to it. It's beautiful. I love how they incorporated it's got everything we the talked rhinestones about with today. the pearls. Yep. And thank goodness, bridesmaid dresses have evolved. Long gone are those typical bridesmaid dresses of yesteryear. Now the trend is anywhere from separates, so there are two pieces for the bridesmaid's dresses as well, maybe with a full skirt, um, mid-calf length. They are also wearing um, a lot of bling again, and a lot of the bridesmaids are opting to wear different dresses. So Rachel, another trend is the after party. And oftentimes, brides will buy another dress that they we need can to. put on. Because we need to, of course. <laughs> well, the advice I give the brides is to remember the reason why they're doing this, and they're marrying their best friend. The more planning that's done before the wedding, the less opportunity for anything to go wrong. Hire good vendors that you trust. Make sure that everything is planned properly before. And then on the big day, just relax. And don't sweat the small stuff. And after wearing something like this, at the end of the day, you might want to slip into something, let's say, a bit more comfortable. And we met a vendor at the wedding show that gave us a great idea your new hubby will enjoy for years to come. We're at Boudoir Photo Studio. So we have the brides come in, they do a sexy photo shoot in their lingerie, and they present it to their grooms the night of the wedding. I like that. And remember one of the couples we met earlier, Denia Porter and Sean Campbell? We found them again at this popular booth. I don't know, maybe a surprise for, for after the wedding. I, I love surprises, hey. <laughs> what better gift? That's all I'm saying. Because it's classy and something just for him, so I think he would enjoy it. I'm waiting, I'm excited to see that day. <laughs> My husband probably would have liked that as well. Anniversary gift? We'll see. I'm Rachel Lee reporting. Ooh la la, oh, no, that's yeah. amore. <laughs> nice gift for the hubby. For sure. <laughs> well, that's our show for today, but head to our Facebook page and our website. We've got so much more and we'd love to hear from you. Share your engagement stories, wedding pictures, whatever. Show us the ring. Yeah, show and me the bling. Yes, and thanks for watching everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Remember, find your balance. So long everybody. <laughs>